Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. You know, I'm stressing like a bastard, and I haven't even left yet. I'm off on a, a, a cycling, sportive, and camping trip in the Alphard. Uh, if, if you watched my last video, I went to uh, Suffolk for a similar kind of event, although actually I ended up riding the Brompton on a kind of shorter ride and not doing the sportive. But this time I actually am planning to do the sportive. And I'm heading, yes, I'm heading like Shackleton searching for the Northwest Passage. I am going to Norfolk, deepest, darkest Norfolk. There be dragons, I believe. There are, there are people, there are people, there are, there are people genuinely who uh, believe that the Earth is flat. And uh, of course, I am one of them. And the thing about Norfolk is if, if, I say if, but of course, because the earth is flat, there are edges. And uh, well, people think because it's flat, it's got to be square. It doesn't have to be square, it just has to be flat. But there are edges, and do you know when one of the edges is? Oh yes, my friends, Norfolk constitutes one of the edges, so let's go there and find the edge, as we must all do at some stage in our lives. So come with me on this journey, and let's hope we get back alive. Well, more serendipity. This is Castle Acre Priory, which uh, I didn't know was here. In the same way, I didn't know the castle was here. Although when I saw the sign for the castle, I also saw a sign for the priory. So I thought I'd have a wander around here. This is English heritage, but uh, I got my English heritage card. So we're going to have a look at the priory. And my God, it looks like an interesting place. Well, you can't see what I can see, but you will if you're patient. There it is. Doesn't that look amazing? We have here an information board, which I'm getting close on. Just that opening bit. The buildings of Castle Acre Priory, though ruined, give an excellent impression of the layout and grandeur of the monastery in the Middle Ages. So this was a, a monastery. Obviously like all these monasteries, uh, destroyed by Henry VIII. That is, he left quite a bit behind, didn't he? Now, this, this part here at the, uh, here, we're gonna get up close. I'm not sure if that's original. It's been rebuilt, actually. It looks, looks original, doesn't it? Let's get a bit closer, shall we? Now I have a, a fairly well-known, well-documented antipathy to dogs. Not specifically dogs per se, but they have a tendency to bark, uh, get in the way. They're a bit like children. They're irritable. And a bit like children, they tend to have very irritating parents. And I find that quite often the dog is fine, but the owner is a right fucking pain in the arse. Anyway, that is not the sort of language you would expect while visiting a priory, although it is the kind of language you expect if you were used to watching any of my videos. Well, that is, I think you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen, a pretty extraordinary structure, isn't it? You know what it looks like? And during the week when my darling wife Jane, we went to see Jerusalem, a fabulous painting with Mark Rylance, and of course in one of those classic West End theatres, you have this scenery that, that fools you into thinking it's completely real, completely genuine. And this is one of those things that is completely real and completely genuine, but fools you into thinking that it isn't. It's like a um, the frontis, frontispiece, or the front part, the proscenium arch of a stage. Now you're thinking this is so impressive, this arch, that you want to see Julian walk through the arch. Oh, this is like one of those Citizen Kane tracking shots. Is it a tracking shot? I'm not sure if it's a tracking shot. Actually, I, this is what I was doing. But actually, it's not precisely what I was doing. It's similar to what I was doing the other day when I went for a walk with my favourite son, Joel, and fell flat on my face. A, um, an injury, or rather a collection of injuries, incidentally, from which I am still suffering. But you don't want to know that. Well, you're probably going to hear about it anyway. 
This is the nave of the Priory Church. The nave of the church was once a very impressive three-storied space, ideal for the complex religious services favoured by the Cluniacs. Don't know who the Cluniacs were. Perhaps I should have read the guidebook. This is the rear of that arch that you saw me walk through. Not quite so impressive from the rear, but uh, still. The other thing that really fascinates me about kind of places like this, ruins, if you like, why? Why did, you see this I'm pointing out, why did that pile of stones survive? But this pile of stones, which hasn't survived, didn't survive. You see what I mean? And that pile of stones did survive, and these bits here survived. But why didn't the rest of it survive? In other words, is there a kind of, I don't know, a kind of stone monument um, god somewhere who decides what will stay and what will go in the way that our god decides which of us will stay and which of us will go and when. It's getting a bit morbid, isn't it? Still, I am in a priory. Not the priory, where, you know, celebrities and Katie Price, people like that, go to detox. I don't think there's any celebrities here. Can you see any? If they have dogs, I'm still going to hate them. Lift your eyes to the sky. Look, a secret passageway with stairs leading upwards. Does it lead upwards to have dinner with the Lord or just lunch with the bishop? I'm impressed. Gotta say it. Gotta say it. I'm impressed. My late wife Jane and I like to visit Bayham Abbey, which is in Sussex, which is uh, a very interesting ruin. But I've got to say, this is a far more comprehensive collection of ruins than there is at Bayham Abbey. Arches. Lots of arches. And the stonework on that tower, and the arches and the remains. It's fascinating, isn't it? Messenger, BCR group. Uh, these are the people now who are in charge of the Priory. All the uh, Messenger members of staff come here for uh, prayer and uh, TED talks, marriages, births, things like that, funerals. This is the first porch, uh, still awaiting plasterboard. Only been waiting 700 years, but you know, it's difficult to get a plasterer these days. This is the later porch. I love, I love that as a sign. I want to have a, I want to have a sign like that on my house. Later porch. This is Max. Max was the first plasterer to work on the castle. They left this sign here saying, uh, "Max, you may have to come back, mate, because you haven't finished." But he never came back. Ow! Going up, going up. Wish me luck. I mean, they could, they could leave some kind of banister or something. Or could they have not done that? The monks didn't believe in banisters. Probably shouldn't have gone up those stairs with my camera. What does it say? Pigeons have been making a mess in these rooms and we need to keep them out. Please close the door and leave. Let's open this door and see what we can say. see in here that Max the plasterer again has not finished his work. We can also see here that uh, 
builder came along and bricked up this door. Do you remember that uh, Forty Towers episode with Mr. Mr. Orelli, the builder? I wonder if, wonder if Mr. Orelli worked on this priory and bricked up the wrong door. That's a nice chest, isn't it? You could fit a couple of bodies in there, a couple of grandparents. Probably a complete set. Do I dare to open the lid and see what secrets are revealed? That's locked. I'm afraid whoever's grandparents they are will have to remain forever unknown. People are coming in. Keep your voice down. Well, this is uh, uh, the Prior's Chapel, uh, prior to what it is now, although I'm not sure what it is now, unless it's maybe still the Prior's Chapel, or would be, if the, the Prior was still here, which he isn't. This is like a Warshash test. Do you see there a fresco, like something like Giotto from Assisi? Or do you just see some marks on the wall? I see a fresco, I see two arms, I see a third arm there, I see a leg there, I see a head looking downwards at whatever is in this hand. Primitive, but uh, about as good as I'd probably draw it. I don't think I would have passed for Giotto. It's some fine stonework there, isn't it? Another plasterer there. This is uh, Adam Blusk, Blusk, one of the top plasterers of the uh, uh, the 16th century, but uh, had a tendency to leave his work half finished as plasterers. It is alleged. I want to do. It's a nice table, isn't it? I wonder if I could get that table down the stairs and into the outfart without anybody noticing. Actually, there's a point in it. How did they get? That bastard up those little tiny stairs. I don't know, those monks could do anything. Another secret staircase. I've discovered. Oh, this is steep. I'm not sure I ought to be going up here, holding my camera. But I've done it now. Nice one. Bit bare. I mean, you couldn't let this as an Airbnb place, not unless you put a bit of furniture in. And that fire exit is blocked. They'd never get away with that. Nice decoration though. See those heads? See those heads looking down at you? One says, have a nice sleep, sir. The other says, there's a chocolate on your pillow. The one in the middle, it's kind of a head without a face, says, no there isn't, I ate it. There's a, something buzzing. Can you hear that? I suppose you might hear it better if I shut up. That is a fine piece of stonework, isn't it? You've got to say. I mean, I don't know anything about stones. Is that, actually, I don't know very much about very much. But uh, I know a good bit of stonework when I see it. Well, now you've seen both uh, Castle Acre Castle and Castle Acre Priory. What a fascinating, unexpected diversion that turned out to be. Now, some of my uh, viewers and fans, and I, I do recognise that not all viewers are fans, and frankly not all fans are viewers, have suggested that some of my videos are too long. And um, I'm inclined to agree, uh, guys, I'm inclined to agree, uh, not even my nearest and dearest, frankly not even my nearest and dearest watch my videos, but not even they, not even me, frankly, wants to sit through uh, 45 minutes of me wanging on about uh, rubbish most of the time. So I've decided to shorten my video. So that's it, it's finished. No, 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 fooled you, not finished yet. And um, I'm going to do shorter videos. So although I'm on a trip, 
uh, to Norfolk. As you know, I'm going to make that my first video about my trip to Norfolk. And if there are further things of interest, then I will make further video videos. But I'd like to say thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up because it helps uh, Nadine Dory's favourite algorithms. And uh, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends, spread the word to watch Julian's videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.